we're looking at here is a complete turnkey container weigh filling system. This will weigh various products into jars, into tins, any type of rigid packaging basically. Starting from the top, you have a product hopper. That's where you can load your products in bulk. We're talking cannabis flour, gummies, to peanuts, you name it. That feeds the product into the weigh filler based on level sensor. And then the scale itself is going to use multiple buckets to add up to your total. So not, not only is it a fast solution for weigh filling, but it's also accurate because you're taking the sum of multiple weigh buckets to add up to your total. And then after those weigh buckets are utilized, the other buckets still have product in them, right? So you're prepared to dump your next weigh fill, however many ounces or pounds it may be. Then in line, we also have a check weigher. This is where we can verify in line that the weight going into the package itself is within the client's desired tolerance level. The client might say, okay, I want no less than 3.55 grams going into the container, but I want no more than 3.7 grams. So this device, super accurate, can process up to 40 weights per minute, and essentially, if the weight is within that tolerance, it dumps it down towards the container, down the acceptance chute. If it's outside of that tolerance, it rejects it down this rejection chute. Product's still perfectly good, all stainless steel. You would just take this product after it accumulates, load it right back up into the hopper. So now from the container standpoint, rotary unscrambling table. This is where your operator would load empty jars as you've seen here. Again, it could be tins, it could be glass, it could be plastic. Okay, as long as it's rigid and has a, a low center of gravity so it's stable as it moves through the system, we're good to go. These will automatically feed onto the container indexing conveyor, which is the blue belt. The indexing conveyor will stop the container below that weigh filler and below the acceptance chute, receive the product. We can also agitate that container to help the product settle within that container. We can also add vibration to help the product pass through the funnel. Once we're filled now, we continue down the line into an automatic, this is a single head rotary chuck capper. We have a bowl feeder. Typically, you would also have a hopper where you load your bowl caps. They feed into the bowl feeder orienter, which ensures the caps are facing the right way, orients them single file and feeds them to the chuck. Now your containers will come into the star wheel, which aligns the container with the chuck that applies the cap. You can adjust the torque to ensure that the cap is fully applied to your liking and secured. From there now, further down the line, we have labeling. This is a full wraparound labeler. We offer labelers of all different types. You wanna do bottom label, top label, wraparound, front and back. You wanna have a dog leg off of the top label that aligns with somewhere on the wraparound label. We can do all of those things. We can also integrate printers with these labelers now. So your Best Buy, your expiration, your variable data, batch specific data can all be integrated. So now it's not a second step of taking that information on another sticker sticker and applying it to the container. No, we'll print it right on a space of that label and then apply it to the container. Another item that's often implemented in these lines is induction sealing. Okay, that's like your foil liner that you pull off of your Advil when you first open it. So in that scenario, you would have a liner in the cap. The cap gets applied to the proper torque where that liner is making contact with the orifice of the container itself and then it would pass under an induction sealer, which would seal that liner to the top of the orifice of the container, so that when you remove the cap, fully sealed, it doubles down as tamper evidency, but also helps preserve the shelf life of a product. Then after labeling, we come down to rotary accumulation, and you have your finished, filled container, labeled, capped to the right torque, and uh, off to case packing you go, which might lead you to you know, one of our robotic case packers or Delta robots or side load. We do case packing in all different orientations down through uh, palletization.